My name is Oscar Preciado, I grew up in Southgate and uh, I fell behind a couple few years ago fighting custody for my son on my taxes. Um, I, I, am a, I was an Army veteran, served for three years, came out as a specialist and um, thankfully I met Sergio and here I am now. You know, gladly I should refer him to Sergio. It goes back to what I said, you know, it's, it, he's a veteran. He's a Marine, I'm an Army, but it's okay. You know, we won't hold it against him, he helped me out so I can't, I can't talk too bad about the Marines, but he did help me out and I, and I, I, I gotta look out for veterans, just so he looked out for me. If anyone ever asked me, how'd you get out of it or how, you know, how who helped you? I would gladly tell him Sergio did. It's not a problem. In the military, I, I went in as a 19 kilo, which is a tanker. I was a tanker. I joined the military when I was a little over 18, if I remember correctly. I came out when I was about 22, somewhere around there. That's where I met my lovely ex-wife. With my son, everything was good. We got... Uh, Divorced right around 2001, 2002. He was a little over a year old and everything was good. You know, we, we went through different type of custody issues with him. And it wasn't until about 2012, 2013, where my son expressed concerns where he was having issues with his mom and his stepfather. Uh, that's where I stepped in as best as I could. And um, listened and, 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 and actually believed him what he was going through. I felt helpless, not be able to really help him, seeing him a couple of times during the week. Going back to 2013, uh, that was um, when uh, things got really heated with his mom, where she pretty much was refusing to keep me, keep any type of visitation with him when they were living out of state. I wasn't able to see him. She wasn't giving me the opportunity to go pick him up. I had to actually fly to Kansas to pick him up, to even see him. And um, that was what caused me to leave my, my employer took my finances, my finances took a toll, my health took a toll, uh, just to keep my son in my life. And uh, thankfully, um, he's 21 now, and uh, he's going to his fourth year of college, going for his master's. So he got work, he got taken care of, and now, um, luckily with, with Sergio and his team, uh, he was able to help me out in a, in a way to remove over $20,000 from, from my debt. I remember the summer of 2019, my summer was in town. I was getting ready to get some money at the bank and all of a sudden I couldn't withdraw any type of money. So I checked, I called my bank and they told me it was to put a freeze on my account. And I didn't know what to do and that's when I reached out to different type of tax attorneys, Optimus Plus and all these other different companies. But for some reason I went to a surgery, uh, mainly primarily because he was a veteran. So I want to believe in veterans. I want to support a veteran. I really believe veterans will look out for veterans, not only for veterans, but for other people. That's the way we're built. And uh, tax problem that I had was that I, that I owed them over at that time, close to 18, 19 thousand dollars, but I couldn't make the payments that they wanted me to make based on what I was making. I wasn't making the money I used to make when I, was, when I left my old employer to uh, keep custody of my son. And that's when, when things, you know, like I said, I fell apart. There was probably, it was towards the later part of last year, if I remember correctly, and uh, Sergio called me. He sounded, sounded pretty, pretty sick. And I was like, you know, what's going on? And uh, he talked to me and I understood him as best he could. You know, his voice wasn't very clear, but he, he told me what was going on with his health, his family. And I, I first thought I thanked him for even reaching out. And uh, that's when he told me everything was, was, gonna, was going for my favor that uh, they approved the letter, they approved the offering compromise, and they, uh, I, out of owing them almost over $20,000, uh, uh, the offering compromise was accepted for $50. So I actually just received that confirmation letter probably a little over a month ago, stating that, I'm, that there's no more lien on my account, that I'm good now. How I feel is, is more relief. You know, it was, it, was, it was an ugly feeling knowing that you don't have access to your money, uh, that you worked for it's 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 an ugly feeling knowing that you want to make a payment but the payments they want you to make based on years prior which you were making it's, it's impossible it's just literally impossible 